Hey everyone, what is up? What is up? This is Julie here. I'd like to welcome you to my YouTube channel. If you have not yet subscribed, please smash that subscribe button, kick the like button on this video and all of my other videos, and don't forget to ring that notification bell so you'll be notified whenever I upload new content. Um, I am like really asking you all to kick the like buttons on these new um these new videos that i am doing for you all because i really need to know whether or not you are liking them and whether or not they are helpful okay so the more likes i receive that will let me know whether or not i need to continue doing like videos okay and these are the critical element step videos and i'm going to try to do one for each, uh, for all, not 23 skills, right? But for the uh, 22 skills, because not a, a lot of states are tested on, um, what is it, electronic blood pressure, right? So I'm not gonna do it for electronic blood pressure, but the other 22 skills, um, I would love uh, to do so y'all can have a better understanding of the critical element steps in each skill, okay? And the reason why, the critical element steps are very, very important is because if you incorrectly perform uh, that step or you omit that step, it is an automatic fail, okay? And so I think that, um, you know, you being aware of the different variables, because yes, some of these steps do have more than one variable that could cause you to automatically fail. And so I think that it's really important that you have a good understanding of these steps. Now, I already did a video for hand hygiene and we talked about the two critical element steps and hand hygiene. Today in this video, I'm gonna to talk to you about the knee high stocking. Now there is only one critical element step in um, assist with um, or applying uh, you know, one elastic knee high stocking and that's step number eight, okay? However, step number eight does have two variables that could cause you to receive an automatic fail if you perform, uh, you know, one or both variables incorrectly or if you omit both one or both variables, okay? So we're gonna talk about these variables and the most obvious is going to be uh, the heel of the stocking, ensuring that the heel of the stocking covers the heel of the person's foot. Now, um, some stockings, as you can see with the stocking that I have here, it actually has a blue heel, uh, but there are some stockings that where this, the heel area is white. However, you still will be able to, to distinguish um, that area of the heel, okay? Even though it's gonna be the same color as the stocking, okay? Or might be, right? So some stockings will not have the blue heel, um, some will have the white, but again, like I said, you'll still be able to uh, distinguish where the heel is at on the stocking, okay? So very, very important that this heel, okay, the heel of the stocking is covering the heel of the person's foot, right? So I tell my students, you know, you don't have to try to get it exactly even on both sides of the hill and exactly even, you know, from front to back, because let me tell you, child, you will be here all day trying to do that. Um, what I do tell my students is to make sure that from front, from the front to the back of the hill is covered and each side is covered. Okay, um, so you wanna make sure that person's entire heel is being covered by the heel of this stocking, okay? So that's one of the variables in step number eight, the critical element step. Um, if a portion of that person's heel is not covered uh, by the heel of the stocking, that's an automatic fail. So you wanna make sure after you put that stocking on that you check recheck and recheck again if you have to, okay, to ensure uh, that that person's foot is being covered by the heel of the stocking, all right? The second variable in this step is um, the stocking being wrinkle-free. Now, what's so crafty about this, about this variable is that um, 
you know, a lot of times folks were trying to, I mean, spending a lot of time trying to get the stocking wrinkle free. Um, and some mannequins, it's because some mannequins would have like a really deep crease, you know, where the foot dorsiflexes, it will have like a really deep crease right here. Maybe it would have some bolts on the side or at the bottom of the foot. And so, um, that, you know, the candidate was not able to get all of the wrinkles out, no matter how much they tried. Um, and the NAEs would, you know, fail them because the stocking was not wrinkle free. Um, well, that has changed. Yes. Yes, it has changed. Okay. You still, the stocking still has to be wrinkle free. Okay. Still has to be wrinkle free. However, um, if you are not able to get out all the wrinkles and the twists, as long as you state stocking is wrinkle free, you'll get credit for that variable. Okay. But you have to make sure to get credit for the entire step. You have to make sure that the heel of the stocking is covering the heel of the person's foot. Okay. So it's two variables that depend on each other. Okay. So just make sure that once you pull the stocking up over the leg, um, once you've ensured that the heel of the stocking is covering the heel of the person's foot, um, you want to make sure you smooth out that stocking as much as possible, okay? Um, and if you, you can't seem to get the wrinkles out, all you got to do is state stocking is wrinkle-free, okay? Even if you are able to get the wrinkles out, you still need to state stocking is wrinkle-free, all right? So, that is the uh, two variables in critical step number eight of the knee-high stocking, all right? So I just want to show you all something real quick um, about these stockings, right? They, they are elastic, man, so they stretch. Look, I mean, look how wide I am stretching these. Um, I see difficulty or challenges when the nurse aide candidate is putting the stocking on to the person's foot. Now, once you turn that stocking inside out, okay, I'm turning it inside out now. Um, if you stretch that stocking, okay, you're going to stretch it and you're going to keep it stretched. You see how much I have it stretched? While I'm putting it on the person's foot, I'm going to maintain this stretch. Yes, if you maintain that stretch, the stocking will just slide on to that mannequin's foot, okay? And remember, you have to cover... Um, you know, put the stocking on over the toes, foot, and heel before you uh, proceed to pull it up, okay? So just maintain that stretch and it shouldn't give you any problems when you're trying to put that stocking on, all right? So guys, that is it for this video. Again, the more likes I get on these types of videos um, will let me know whether or not I need to continue doing critical element step videos. If I don't get a lot of likes, that's just telling me that, you know, these videos probably just, you know, really weren't helpful to you, okay? Um, but if I get a lot of likes, I know that you are enjoying the video and I know that um, they are, uh, you know, being helpful to you, okay? Hey guys, man, let me tell you, I'm, you know, left and right, I'm getting comments um, telling me that, you know, you're passing your state certification exam, man, that just melts my heart. It really does, um, you know, to know that um, my videos are helping so many people to receive their nurse aid certification. Um, and I'm, I'm saying, you know, all states, all states, um, several different uh, countries. Um, and it's just, it's awesome. It really is, you know, and I still... I'm still trying to like process everything, you know, from a, a YouTube channel that I started just for my students is now blossoming um, into, you know, I don't know, something very empowering for you um, to, you know, um, receive a certification that would change your life, you know, um, for the better. And like I said, it's just... Um, Wow, it's just awesome. So I just want to congratulate each and every one of you who are, um, you know, passing your state certification exam. I know that some of y'all will probably, uh, you know, want to remain CNAs. A lot of you are using this 
certification as, you know, a step um, into, you know, uh, climbing up that career ladder, whether you want to be, become a nurse, a nurse specialist, um, you know, a physician, a, you know, physical therapist, a veterinarian, you know, you're, there's so many routes that you can take um, with this certification. So I just want to tell you, I'm really, really excited for you all. I'm really, really happy um, for you, those who are passing. Hey, keep um, you know, telling me, letting me know where you're passing, let me know what state, um, you know, you tested in to receive your certification. For those of you that are having difficulty, maybe it's your second or third time, or maybe even it's your first time, you know, and you still have, um, you know, some questions or some of the skills are challenging or, you know, some of the theory um, is challenging, please don't hesitate um, to ask questions. If I am able uh, to give you an answer, I definitely will. Um, if I don't know the answer, I do not have, you know, I don't have any shame in my game. I will tell you I don't know, um, but I will try to find out for you, okay? So, um, oh, you know what? Before I leave, before I leave, for those of you who are testing under Pearson View, they have changed the way that you receive your results you will no longer receive your results right then and there, okay? You have to wait anywhere from four to 24 hours, um, log in to your Pearson View account, um, and then you will be able to see your results. So you're not gonna get them right away. I know guys, the anticipation, right? The anticipation of having to wait to find out. Um, but usually, you know, usually you'll have a good idea uh, whether or not if, you know, you, you, you know, you successfully passed or, you know, you're unsure, right? Um, but anyway, it goes, hey, you know, um, you don't pass it the first time. You will definitely pass it the second time. You just got to stay positive, stay confident, know your skills, take responsibility for your learning and practice, practice, practice. Okay. When it comes to the theory, you have got to know, you have got to know um, that information and you have to have a really good information of that theory, um, of the theory material. Okay. Um, and also, um, you know, there, I think there's, there's like six or seven different color versions of the exam. Um, last year they only, uh, distributed four of those color variations. And I think it was the teal, the green, the orange, and the purple. Um, well, my group that just tested, uh, they also had the pink and the yellow. So they're bringing those colors back, those color version tests back now also, okay? The pink and the yellow. So, so far now it's pink, yellow, teal, green, um, purple, and orange, okay? And then I think there's also a red version, but um, I don't think they've brought that one back yet, okay? So keep up the good work, guys. Thank you for all of your support. Hey, um, I want to thank all of you for the prayers that you are sending um, to my husband. You know, he's been having some rough nights these past couple of nights, but he is, you know, keeping his own, um, you know, staying strong, um, you know, because we got to make it to Houston. We got to make it to Houston on uh, the 10th. Um, you know, he has two um, outpatient, um, you know, he'll have his, uh, what is it, his heart transplant workup done on the, th the 12th. And then he'll have his kidney uh, transplant workup completed on the 13th. Um, so we'll be headed out to Houston on the 10th. If you would love to donate, if you are able to donate, um, you can do so by going to gofundme.com. You can look up my, um, my campaign. Um, it is... Uh, Dang, you know what? I forgot the name of my campaign. I've been so busy. Oh my gosh. It's, well, it's Ricky Sanders. That's my husband's name, okay? Ricky Sanders, a uh, dual, dual organ transplant. Um, so you look that up if you'd like to donate or you can visit my personal Facebook page. I do have a donation link on there uh, with my Facebook uh, campaign and my GoFundMe campaign. We are almost at half um, as to our goal, we're almost halfway to our goal, uh, which is, um, our goal is $8,500. And I think with, um, 
the donations that I've received with GoFundMe and the donations so far on Facebook, we are almost halfway there, okay? Um, and these funds will actually help us with our traveling to and from um, San Antonio to Houston and back, um, help us out with housing while we're in Houston because we'll be there for a week, just to help us, um, you know, take a, a, you know, some of the financial burden off of, you know, my shoulders because I will not be working um, while we are um, in Houston. So, but I'm still going to be talking to you all. Yes, I'm still going to be doing my YouTube thing, okay? But I won't be working, uh, making the bucks, right? Um, so that's just to help defray, uh, you know, our travel costs, housing costs, um, child care costs, because I'm going to have to, like, try to find someone to care for Gabby. Hopefully her uncle will be able to come with us. And then that, you know, that will be a burden um, off of our shoulders. You know, something we won't have to worry about, um, you know, emotionally, because I've never had anyone um, or needed anyone to, you know, care for Gabby. Um, but also it will be uh, lift that financial burden because we won't, won't have to spend money on um, childcare for Gabby. So keeping my fingers crossed that her her uncle will be able to travel with us um, to Houston. Um, and then also, um, you know, help defray the cost of medical, um, the medical expenses. So right now, I think we've accrued um, 23, close to $2,400 in medical expenses. The good thing is, is that, um, you know, I thought uh, uh, Medicare had denied all payments of his diagnostic test. Um, however, we received a packet um, about a week and a half ago and they actually paid 80%. Yes, yeah, so we're still responsible for the 20%, but it's not as much as I thought it would be. So that is like lifted a heavy, uh, heavy weight off of our shoulders too. So right now I think we're still at like $2,300, $2,400 with medical expenses. So that is what your donations will be going to. Hey guys, I got to get ready to go. Um, again, kick that like button if you are liking these videos and you feel that these videos um, on the critical element steps are helpful to you. And again, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for your continued support and your loyalty. A lot of y'all have been telling me that you've been referring my YouTube channel out to other people. So thank you, thank you so much for passing it forward. If my videos are helping you, um, I'm sure that they will be able to help others also, okay? And again, um, if you'd like to donate uh, to my cause uh, for my, you know, for my husband's um, journey, um, hopefully, for his dual organ transplant, um, please do so. Go to GoFundMe.com. And you know what? As a matter of fact, I will leave the donation link um, in the description of area of this video. Um, and then you can always go to my personal Facebook page. Um, I do have a donation um, through Facebook also, okay? So I love you guys so much. Ciao.